What is up guys, Travis Doyle here. I'm doing a little bit different of a video this week. Instead of a skating video, I'm doing a camera gear setup video that a lot of people are messaging me about and bugging me about in comments on my videos. So I decided I'd do it now. Um, so first off, this is my bag. It's what I carry around every day when I'm out skating, whatever. I'm not sure the brand, but if you go on Amazon, you look up Canon DSLR bag, I'm pretty sure you'll find this one. It runs for about 30 bucks. Alright, so starting from the top here, in this bag, in this top front pouch, I don't really have anything in here other than like, things like tools and stuff like that, I have a box cutter in there too for a grip tapes if you're ever setting up a board, which is very uh, helpful I guess. <laughs> um, in this next one over here, we have this, uh, I don't know the exact brand of it but basically what it is used for is to clean the dust off lens there's a little pump to blow the dust off here's a Canon EF lens microfiber cloth um, here is a pen cleaner which it goes out that way and then you could also take it out that way use that those are both really good um, all those three things together probably run you about 25 bucks um, and here, in these little pouches right in here, I have two memory cards, a 132 and 116. Uh, I also have another 32 gigabyte one, but that one's in my computer right now, because uh, I was importing footage just recently. It goes back in there. Another thing I carry in here, which is kind of ironic, not really ironic, just kind of strange, but uh, I carry Advil and ibuprofen in there, basically the same things, but whatever. But, um, I carry those in there in just case, you know, if you're out skating and you got something. Alright, now to, like, the main part of the camera bag. My bad. Alright, so starting from the top, we got the Alteca X Grip right here. This thing runs about 30 bucks. Uh, I'm definitely going to upgrade eventually to the Cam Caddy or Metal X, uh, Metal X Grip from Alteca, which they should be coming out with in the next month or so. Um, right here... We have the new R uh, external mic. Got us for about 50 bucks, somewhere like that. Um, in here, I have a cheap tripod, which I got also from newer. Um, I don't really use this one. I have a different one that this video is being recorded on, but this one is for what I'm about to show you next. Um, but yeah, you put the tripod head right on there. It's only ran for about 10 bucks or so. Put that back in there. Um, here is my newest thing that I recently got. This is the new OR 126 LED light. It's very bright as you can see. But it does work really well. So I like that a lot. It also came with these uh, filters that you put over the lens. Or not the lens, the uh, light. <laughs> uh, moving on to the actual camera. In here I had the Canon Rebel T3i. Really nice camera. I like it a lot. It has a flip out screen. Stuff like that. Sorry if the lighting's bad also. But yeah, I think I'll work with it. Um, lenses, I have the Canon uh the, uh the Canon 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens that it came with, which really has like the, the worst if you could hear that it has like the worst zoom ever. But um now you gotta work with it I guess. That back in there. Uh, my most recent lens is the Rockin' on 8mm fisheye lens, which is really smooth focus on there. I highly recommend this one. It runs for about 300 bucks, but it's definitely worth it. The glass on it's really nice too. So I definitely recommend getting this. Um, as far as that, we got some stuff over here. These little pouches right here. Um, I got a cannon strap as you can see in there. Some wires, cables to put on my computer. Um, this is a Newar, um, I think it's just Newar, but Newar intervalometer, which is for time lapses. It basically, um, you can tell it to take pictures every however many seconds. It's really cool. And then in here, I don't have anything. I have a, uh, battery case because my battery is charging as we speak. And, uh, that's basically it. That's my real whole setup right there. And, uh, now I'm going to stop the camera and show you what my normal setup looks like when I'm out today street skating alright so now I got this thing set up this is what my normal setup in the day looks like I don't know if you can see that, hold on 
head the light around over here. But that's what it normally looks like in the day. Now that's how I'm usually out filming within the day. Um, and then for night, all I simply, simply do is I take this microphone off, unplug that. Oops. There you go, take that off. And then all I simply do is get this light. Slip it on the top of the hot shoe. And we're good to go. So that's my, uh, you can see that. Kind of hard to see. But yeah, that's basically my setup. Sorry if this video is kind of bad. I had to work with what I got. And, uh, so, yeah, guys, that's my whole setup. If you got any more questions or you want any more tutorials on anything, um, just leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to it. Um, till then, guys, thanks again for giving me the 400 subscribers. It means a ton. And uh, more videos coming out this summer. Peace.